Good afternoon, everybody. Um, excited. Talking season's over, and uh, we get to go play ball. So looking forward to, uh, to seeing all of our fans uh, inside the stadium. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, unique kickoff time for us. Look forward to seeing everybody at Ball Walk at, at 1030. Um, you guys know this week, um, you know, we'll wear the, uh, the smoky grays and, and uh, um, you know, wear those for uh, this design for the first time. So uh, facing a Chattanooga team that's uh, a really good uh, opponent, preseason ranked in, in uh, top 10 in, in their division, uh, return a lot of really good players. Uh, at the end of the day, um, this is the first step in our journey. I uh, look forward to going and competing with this, uh, this group. So I'll open it up. Josh, it obviously takes a few years to get to the point where you've gotten past some of the other NCAA stuff and now you get to a full roster. Do you look at it now and say, I feel right now like we are top to bottom where I want us to be? Uh, we continue to, to build our roster, um, certainly. Um, we're not quite at a, at a full roster yet, but uh, uh, really um, like the group that we have um, as we've continued to recruit here uh, during the different cycles, length, athleticism, uh, physicalness, uh, traits that we're looking for uh, on the field, uh, competitive makeup, all of those things. Um, you know, I really like this team, and, and uh, we got to continue to grow throughout the course of it. But uh, what they've done during the course of training camp, uh, they've handled it really well. Uh, they got a handle uh, game week preparation extremely well this week too. I know a lot will be on the quarterback on Nico, but almost everybody has played more than him. What can veteran players do to make Nico's job easier? Well, um, for every quarterback, not just young ones, but for everyone, uh, the guys around him playing at a really high level, uh, execution. Uh, really important. That can be your offensive line uh, in pass protection. It's being efficient in the run game, staying out of uh, third and long situations. Uh, your skill guys being where they need to be in a pass concept or protection. Um, all those things tie in into it together. Uh, at the t same time, you know, quarterbacks gotta gotta make everybody right too. He, he started in the bowl game, but it feels different in, in taking over first game of the season. Just what is like maybe an internal checklist that will look that will. If he had a successful day, that you know, you'll check some boxes besides just the stat, raw stats. Yeah, play smart football. Uh, take care of the the football. Um, manage the game uh, extremely well. Communication. Um, play within yourself. Uh, and at times, uh, when they present themselves, make plays. And uh, you know, he's you know had the opportunity to start the bowl game. I think that was a great experience. Uh, helps propel, create urgency in the in the off season. Uh, he's handling himself uh, extremely well here. Um, you know, during the course of training camp, too. Um, young quarterback, um, he's going to get better as we go through the season. I say that just meaning that every rep you get at that position on game day helps you as well. Eric, what are some of the challenges that UTC presents, both offensively and defensively, that your team's going to have to look out for? Yeah, uh, veteran uh, quarterback that's played at a really high level. Um, you know, smart with the football. Um, they got playmakers out on the outside. Um, for us, uh, offensively looking at them, um, you know, they got uh, explosive playmakers up front, and um, we got to do a really good job handling the line of scrimmage. Josh, we've talked to you about the in helmet communication, but there are other changes to uh, the rules in college football. Any of those uh, of note for you and how they might impact the game specifically? And maybe that uh, two minute warning at the end of each half or anything else? Yeah, two minute uh, warning ha obviously has a chance to change, um, you know, the sequencing of things uh, at the end of, of both halves. So, um, you know, we spend a bunch of time on that and uh, hopefully we're, uh, we're prepared the right way. Talked about that start in the bowl game for Nico, but as he gets ready for his first start at home in Neyland, what do you remember from maybe your first start as a collegiate quarterback at home? And have you talked to him about that kind of taking in the moment? I haven't talked to him about that. I talked to our team really every week. Uh, enjoy the journey of, of leading up to, to kickoff. That's ball walk. It's you know your experience at the hotel, hanging out with. Uh, your teammates, it's seeing your family there, there in town, um, and certainly running through the tees. So soak all those things in. I think that helps you enjoy the journey, makes you better for, for the next week, 
Um, and, um, you know, for him, uh, at the end of the day, it's 11 on 11 when you get between the white lines, go play ball. You said for months that you really like this team and the way they go to work. With As you go into game week now, what do you like about this team now or what do you feel is different about this team now than maybe a month ago or, or three months ago that you like? Well, I, I challenge our, our veterans in each position room uh, today, just the preparation, the urgency that you have to, pay, have, to have, not just when the coach is in there, but, but outside of those times. Um, making sure that our young guys understand what that process looks like. You know, each day of the week, a Monday is different than a Tuesday or Wednesday uh, as we get uh, closer to kickoff. Um, our, our vets got to do a great job of leading uh, our young guys. Um, you know, I think <clears throat> this group, uh, you've heard me say it um, post spring ball, I, I thought they were, you know, extremely competitive, extremely uh, intentional. They're that way during training camp. Um, the camaraderie that we have, um, the chemistry as roles get defined and roles change each week, keeping that uh, a part of our, our team locker room is going to be really important. Heading into the fall camp, Coach, you talked about wanting to fix red zone issues and pre-snap penalties that surfaced last year. Where do you feel like you are in those areas heading into this week? Done a good job uh, throughout the course of training camp. Um, you know, I thought we got better on the second half of training camp in particular uh, on those things, which is um, you know, typical uh, as you go through training camp. A lot of young guys learning how to play. Um, you know, red zone, uh, we spent a bunch of time on it. Um, we got to go out and execute in both areas, um, offensively and defensively. I know some guys on the offensive line were missing earlier in camp. How good do you feel about the chemistry camaraderie, as you were mentioning there a second ago, about your first five on the offensive line and then developing any depth behind that? Yeah, um, you know, a couple of guys, um, you know, kind of got built throughout the course of, of training camp that allows you to play more guys together. Um, you don't have just five guys playing together, um, but I feel like uh, throughout the course of, of the lead up uh, to this point uh, in the uh, in the year, um, I really like where that group's at. Um, they push each other. Um, you know, we'll play more guys and, and need to, uh, but I, I really like where uh, that group's at right now. Josh, is the fact that the college football playoff, how much does it change any planning or thought processes for you and your staff? At the end of the day, at this point in the season, it's about one week, um, winning every day and, and putting yourself in position to go play your best football on Saturdays. So. Um, it's a, a one and all mindset at this point. Thank you. Awesome.